For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I preach to lesser con congregations, but I love to exalt the Lord Jesus Christ. I love to lift up my Savior, my God. For on April 25th, 1987, Jesus Christ saved my soul. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no greater name, there is no greater event than the name of Jesus Christ and the day that you're born again. To be a born again is that you have been born of a woman. That's usually the time that you celebrate your happy birthday. Every year, a year older. The new birth is when you came to Jesus Christ at Calvary, where he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. When you come to Jesus Christ dying on Calvary's cross and coming out of the tomb three days and three nights according to the scriptures, when you come to the biblical Jesus Christ the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And you say, I want to believe that Savior. I want to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to leave religion. I want to leave science. I want to, live, I want to leave atheism. I want to leave it all behind and put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone for by grace are you saved through faith not of ourselves least any man boast it's not what man can do what I can do to go to heaven is what the man Christ Jesus done salvation is of Jesus Christ and without Jesus Christ in faith and belief, you have no salvation. You won't get to a place called heaven. You'll find out you'll, be, you'll wake up in a place called hell. People go to hell because they reject Jesus Christ. And when you reject Jesus Christ, the day that you die, God will reject you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And let me bring it up to date. But Jesus, didn't I go to church? Jesus, didn't I give to United Way? Wasn't I a good person? And the words of Jesus that you rejected will be the same. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But Jesus, you see, when we die, that's it. That's it. When we die, there's nothing else. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The hard fact is, not everybody goes to heaven. 
Jesus himself said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Straight is the gate that leads to life. Broad is the way that many. Straight is the gate that few. Salvation, going to heaven, is not a majority issue. It never was and never will be. It is the few that will put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. And you can be lost in church. You can be lost giving money. There are people going and in hell that fed the poor. You know, the Bible says that Jesus, to the disciples of John, the blind see, the deaf hear, the leprosy is cleansed, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. There are poor people that Jesus did not give food to. He gave them the gospel, and the gospel is the good news. That's what gospel means. The good news is not the news, the media. That's the fake news. The good news is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the good news. Faith and belief in that will get you to heaven. My priest, your priest can't do nothing for you. I wouldn't trust your priest with an altar boy. There is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. Allah is not a God. You can't trust the people of Allah. Look, look, look what's going on in Afghanistan today. That Taliban are followers of Allah. And right now they are killing Christians. They're raping the women. That's a religion of peace. There's no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Perfect peace, lasting peace comes through Jesus Christ. Allah and his worshipers will shed blood in the name of religion for their virgins. But Jesus Christ, God, shed his blood upon Calvary that we might have life and life more abundant. The Roman Catholic Church, Inquisition, they killed Bible-believing Christians. They did not want the Bible in the hands of the people, and that period of time is called the Dark Ages. People who tried to put the Bible in the language of the people and in their hands so they could read it, the Catholic Church killed them. And if you want proof, and documentation, Fox's Book of Martyrs. And yet the Bible says about the blood of Jesus Christ, Acts 20, 28, that blood is God's blood. And that blood was spilt out on the cross of Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Now if you put your faith in belief, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe shall not perish. You see, salvation and going to heaven is not what you do, it's believing. But you can't believe, you can't hope, Oh, I'm going to go to heaven. I hope I'm going to heaven. I wish I was going to go to heaven. 
But that's not going to happen. There is no other hope than the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. Jesus said of himself, speaking of himself, he is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no access to God the Father without Jesus Christ, and without Jesus Christ, your hoping of getting to heaven is unreal. You'll die in your sins and end up in a place called hell. And the word of God, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word shall never. The words that you hear are the words you'll find in the gates of New Jerusalem. But as you hear these words of the Bible, the King James 1611 Bible, and reject the word of God, and reject Jesus Christ, you will not find yourself and you will not find the words in the place of hell. And God is love, but the Bible says, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Again, I already said if you were here, the religion of hate is the Catholics who kill Christians. The prophets of hate is Islam who kills Christians. And yet the love of God is that Jesus Christ, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Without Jesus Christ, you'll perish. Perish is when you throw it away. Perish is when it's been wasted. And when you die without Jesus Christ, your entire life is wasted. You are cast into the furnace of God forever. The incinerator of God. And that incinerator is called hell. But you need not go. God is not willing that any should perish. He provided a way. And his way is the way of truth. And in that way and in that truth there is life. Life eternal. That life, that way, and that truth is in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here expecting hopefully to get some pay today. Expecting to get money. I have always been here for free. I don't get paid for what I'm doing. I enjoy preaching the gospel. The Bible says, With the heart man believes unto righteousness. My heart believes. My heart believed. I am saved. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not preaching. I'm just testifying of the salvation of Jesus Christ. Go on, rattle on, make fun of God. That's okay. The Bible says there are markers. There are fools. Proverbs chapter 1. And all you do is charge my batteries. The more you insult, the more you make fun, that just gets me even more charged up and even more preaching. Because I can't shut up about Jesus Christ. You can't shut up about your foolishness. You be a fool, I'll be a fool for Jesus Christ. And the Bible says this is foolish. Corinthians. But the message is not foolish. The message is that Jesus Christ saves. And the day you keep rejecting Jesus and keep rejecting Jesus, and the day you die without Jesus Christ, when you wake up in hell, you'll say that God is right, Jesus is right, the Bible's right, and that preacher at the farmer's market is right. And then when you stand at the great white throne judgment to be judged by God Almighty. You'll say, God, I never knew. How can you condemn me to the lake of fire I never knew? I may be recalled. What about that loud mouth preacher you hated? 
But it's not about the preacher. It's about the preaching. It's about the man that we preach about. It's about the man that we give out gospel tracts about. That man, the man Christ Jesus. There's no mediator between God and man but the man Christ Jesus. Your Mary can't do it. The Virgin Mary wasn't a virgin. She had other children with Joseph. So you can forget about Mary. She was born in her sin just like anybody else that she brought. The two pigeons and the two turtle doves for her sin sacrifice. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 1 or Luke chapter 2. She brought the sin sacrifice. Mary's a sinner that can't save your soul. Your priest is a sinner. He can't save your soul. Only Jesus Christ, the sinless one, suffered and died for our sins, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Only Jesus saves. And forever. You can be in a place called glory, be in a place called New Jerusalem, in the throne of God the Father and Jesus Christ before the cherubim and all the angels that did not fall and all those that are saved for all eternity, worshiping, praising Jesus Christ. But if you don't like the preaching of Jesus and you can't stand the preacher talking about Jesus and lifting up Jesus, you think it's hate to talk about Jesus, you're not going to enjoy heaven. You see, heaven's not about coon dogs and, fell, uh, and having picnics and, and just lavishing and lavishing and, and a good old time. No, heaven's about Jesus Christ. New Jerusalem's about praising the Lord Jesus Christ. It ain't about preachers. We're not going there for Charles Finney. We're not going there for Moody. We're going there for Jesus Christ. You may not like the preaching of Jesus Christ, but the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 that God loves the feet of them that carry the gospel. Even if you've got eight toes left and very sick feet. Jesus says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus saves. And Jesus saves by his death his burial, and his resurrection. What makes religion different from Jesus Christ? The empty tomb. Oh yeah, the Catholic Church, you know, they celebrate the Estar. So this is the Baptist. But you know Estar by Easter. But the Catholic Church puts Jesus back on the cross. You ask eight out of ten Catholics and they'll show you the crucifix with a cross, with a, with a dead man's body on that cross. He's not on that cross today. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. You don't eat and drink the body and blood of Jesus Christ. That's an abomination throughout the Bible. The only thing that the blood... Eating makes you, it makes you a cannibal. The only way to get to heaven is by the salvation and getting away from your sins and putting your faith and trust in Jesus. Jesus saves. Religion kills. And you got to be careful. Because there's a group of people called Jehovah Witnesses. And they're faithful. They're more faithful than the Baptists. They'll come knocking on your door. They were at the Daytona 500. Almost every intersection was the Roman Catholic. I mean the, the Jehovah Witness. Shame on you Baptists. But you see the Jehovah Witnesses have the wrong Jesus. And the Apostle Paul told the Corinthian church that there's another Jesus. And the Jehovah Witnesses have that another Jesus. They have a Jesus that's not God. And they will tell you, say, Mr. Jehovah, Mrs. Jehovah Witness, is Jesus God? 
and they will tell you, no, he's not God. Though Thomas in the Bible and the Gospel of John said, my Lord, my God, and he was not rebuked. Thomas, a disciple of Jesus Christ, talking to Jesus, said, my Lord, my God. And the Jehovah Witnesses say, no, Jesus is not God. They're not, they're not approved by God. They reject God. And they reject the Word of God. They even change the Word of God. They don't believe in the hell that they're going to. They make hell the grave. No, grave is where you put the body. But your soul will live on. Your body will live on later, but your soul goes off into an afterlife and that there is an afterlife according to the Bible. There's a heaven through Jesus Christ alone. And there's a hell for rejecting Jesus. I love you. I love you. Thank you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes You better put your trust in Jesus and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ because there's no love in hell. Because God is love. Satan has no love. His followers have no love. But hatred. And when you go to hell, that's Satan's domain. That's Satan's home. And you'll have the characteristics of Satan. You're not going to go to a place of blessings and wonderfulness and paradise and utopia. When you reject God the Father and God the Son. It's amazing that many people think they're going to go to a God's heaven. But they're not going to do it through God. People will come up to me, and I've been many, many, many years as a street preacher. People will come up to us all the time. I'm good. I'm good. And yet the Bible says there's none that do it good. How can you do what the Bible says you can't do? So you can't do what the Bible says you can't do. And then you can't get to heaven by doing what the Bible says you can't do. There's no one good enough but the goodness of Jesus Christ. There is no one gooder I made that word up. There is no one gooder than the best of Jesus Christ. There is no one that has no sin that is sinless than Jesus Christ. And that is who you put your hope, your trust, and your faith. It's simple. You can do it right now. Right here at the <coughs> farmer's market. <coughs> the three booth market. You can do it right now. And there's no long prayer. There's nothing written down to say, Jesus. I want to believe what that preacher's saying. I want to believe... That you are my Lamb of God. You will take my sins away. It's simple to believe and simple to see. 
Uh, and you're not going to see the faith, and you're not going to live the faith, and you're not going to experience the faith in your rejection. You're not going to see a miracle. You're not going to see God part the Halifax River so you can walk across. No, what God is giving you, he's giving you the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God, we're not Jewish. Jewish people require signs. But the Gentiles seek after wisdom. And there is no wisdom given to man except for by the fear of the Lord. You're not going to see Jesus. That's not how it works. If I were to see a Jesus right now come walking up to me, I say, get out of here, Satan. Because Jesus is not going to show himself. He's at the right hand of the Father. If I had an angel come up with wings, I say, get out of here, you anti-biblical angel. Because angels don't have wings. But by the word of God. And you know how you know that the Gentiles want the word of God? Because the Gentiles have built libraries. Libraries filled with books, filled with words. And God has given us an English Bible, the King James Bible, with the words of life. And yes, before you say the Bible's written by man, it was inspired by God. Shakespeare was written by man, but God had no part in Shakespeare. Mark Twain put words down in, in paper and made books, but God was not in Mark Twain. The great novels like Moby Dick, though a wonderful novel and it has scripture in Moby Dick, but God was not in Moby Dick. God is in the King James Bible where he lived and breathed. And David said by the Holy Spirit, from the Holy Spirit, David's mouth proclaimed. Jesus Christ, is able to save your soul. Jesus Christ is able and will save you, wash you, cleanse you, and take you in. But only through Jesus Christ will God take you. God, in his mercy and in his love, suffered beyond any man's suffering. He was punched. He was spitted upon. He had his, the hair of his beard pulled. He was whipped many times with a cat of nine tails. He carried that cross up to Calvary and laid his hands down and was nailed to that cross. And he suffered the agonizing death of crucifixion. Where you are drowning in your own body fluids. And in his suffering. And in the anguish of pain. One man next to him on the cross said. Jesus. Remember me. When thou enters into the kingdom. And that we know what the Bible says, or we should. He says, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. And yet those words were spoken just as I said it. Those words were spoken in agony, in pain, grasping for air on that cross. And his final words. 
in suffering and drowning in his body fluids upon that cross it is finished those words were agonizing words on the cross of this dying savior it is finished and you say I'm going to be good to add more to it I'm going to go to church and make it more no, your church, your giving, your being good is an artificial preservative that God won't take. He don't take artificial preservatives. Religion is an artificial pre preservative. Yet the blood of Jesus Christ is natural. It's godly. It's the way. It's the truth. It's the light. We got interesting words for artificial salvation. Artificial preserve. We got Baptists. That ain't going to save you. We got charity. That ain't going to save you. We got priests. Nope. I'll just call myself an atheist. That ain't going to save you. That ain't going to get you off. Because Mr. Atheist, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. The Bible says, okay, be an atheist. That's okay. You got the right. But Mr. Atheist, the Bible says, prepare to meet the God you don't believe in. Imagine your jaw dropping when you stand before the God that you say, I don't believe. Imagine a Catholic going up to God and he's not wearing the tiara. He's not the Pope. Imagine all the Catholics watching all the popes stand before God and get cast off into hell, those that never put their faith and trust in Jesus. The congregations of people watching their unsaved pastors get thrown in. Listen, there are pastors, there are priests, there are reverends, there are all kinds of people in hell that you don't think are there. There are good people in hell. There are people who gave millions of dollars to charity in hell. But those that don't go to hell is those that put their faith and trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ.